tropical cocktails, awesome appetizers, sparkling decorations, and an outdoor dance floor to die for. Hi, we're the Hutchmans. I'm Andrea. And I'm Rich. Among our friends, we're famous for our theme parties. She throws a very good theme party. And we have uh, some great friends who are really energetic and they like to dress up and have a lot of fun, but... We've kind of been running out of ideas for, you know, keeping them entertained, so... Do you got any ideas? Remember prom? We're going to recreate the food, drinks, and atmosphere of that fabulous formal in your own home. It's an 80s-style relive your prom party, and you're invited. And this is your Invited, the show that teaches you how to throw the coolest bashes ever. I'm here at Andre and Rich's house to meet with event planner Scott Benassi, who I know has some really cool ideas for Andre and Rich, right? I do. What are you going to do for them? They have an incredible house. It's going to work well. This backyard has all these great levels, so I thought up here behind us we'd do this great photo op area. Down here we could do a dance floor. I think in here we could do the food and beverage and set up a little buffet Always and a important. bar. Yes. I think this is going to be a really, really cool party. Yeah, it's going to be great. I think you and I should be prom dates. Let's do it. Prom 2002. Gotta get a tux. Sassy Scott Benassi <laughs> and Jackie. <laughs> you can't have a prom without a dance floor, and Scott has an idea for something really easy and affordable. We laid down this cardboard, taped all the pieces together, and then we have these tiles that we got from Home Depot. They're like 89 cents a piece. How weird. It's like floor, peel and stick yeah. floor. Yeah, linoleum. And we're Excellent. gonna peel these pieces off and stick them to the cardboard. So we're gonna take these pieces, lay this one down here. Make sure it's straight. You know what? I'll peel. I'll be your official assistant. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> now, rather than go black, white, black, white, we're gonna do four of all black to make a big black square. More okay. like a dance floor. Last piece right here. That'll do. This is awesome! If I could use a corner phrase from the 80s. A, A, W, E, A, W, E, S, O, F, E, awesome! <laughs> this totally Perfect. looks like a dance it floor. It does, it looks good. Excellent. <laughs> Straight up, now tell me, does this not look like a prom floor? It's awesome. Dig it. They're gonna so have the beat! A dance floor wouldn't be complete without a fabulous chandelier hanging over it. And we're making one out of balloons. The whole idea is to make two tiers of balloons and connect them. Okay. To make the first tier, cut a circle of foam core about 18 inches across and tape balloons all around the edge. Each balloon should just touch the one next to it. Yeah. Looks cool. Yeah. Sweet. So now we got to create the next tier of balloons that are going to go underneath it. Like, we're working this upside down. For the second tier, cut a circle of foam core about six inches across, then tape on more balloons. And again, just, you want your balloons just touch. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so that's our bottom tier. Okay. As we're looking at it upside down. Now we have to attach these two pieces like that. How cool does that look? So what we're going to do is poke some holes. That's where our pipe cleaners come into play. Poke three holes in the foam core and get your pipe cleaners ready. Put your pipe cleaners through, make a little ledge, and then just stick it down with tape. Exactly. Next, make three holes in the smaller tier and thread three pipe cleaners from the larger one through the holes in the smaller one. Grab the three, twist them together, exactly. and it's then so you know, light, you need it tape. holds. Perfect. So we have sort of one space left for one more balloon. At the bottom. <laughs> Okay, so dun, 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 dun. that's it. And then we're going to put lights on the top. This is adorable and simple and inexpensive. What would a prom be without some sparkle? Scott has a great idea for some shimmering star and moon decorations that are simple to make using cardboard, glitter, and spray adhesive. First, draw your shape on a piece of cardboard, then cut it out using scissors or an X-Acto knife. This is so prom. Oh, my God. 
making decorations for a night to remember. It's always that last one that gets you. Ta da! Pop a little hole. We're gonna spray this adhesive like you got there, get it all sticky, and then dip it in this tray, shake it around so it's all glittery. You want me to spray it? Yeah. That way. Okay. <laughs> you want to really drench it, right? Yep. Both sides. We're going to hang these all over behind us, behind the dance floor, <gasps> at all different levels, Dancing all shining. the stars. Yep. Dip your stars and moons in some glitter, and you're all set. Perfect. So we're going to do that with those moons, too. Here, you want to take this one? I do, because I need a set. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up, we're making a prom photo area, and then it's into the kitchen, and I'm sorry, but prom food never tasted this good. never forget about your prom for sure is your prom picture whether you like it or not it's it's there for all eternity so we're creating our own prom photo area using this silver fabric and some quick tubes which are normally used to hold cement so we're gonna take two of these okay. and put them together and that's gonna be one big column Then we're gonna do another one Then we're gonna cover them in some fabric we're gonna put some balloons around it hang some pretty shimmery fabric behind it and just start shooting away. Sounds classy! Yeah. <laughs> to make the column, simply duct tape two quick tubes together. Are these expensive? These are about $4 a piece. And you just get them at the hardware store? Yeah, In the concrete tubes. department. Quick tube versus those slow <laughs> tubes. <laughs> Done. Perfect. Now okay. what? Now we have to wrap it in fabric. Of give course we do. Well, we got to give it that column look. You can use a sheet or any big piece of fabric to cover your column. Just lay it out, roll your tube over, and tape across. 
Once your column is covered, tuck the edges inside and tape them down. Cut a notch into the top of each one to hold the rod for your fabric. Perfect. <laughs> to make the photo center look extra festive, you can wrap the columns with balloons. We made a string of balloons by tying them to a piece of fishing line and then attach them to our columns. All right, cool. So I'm going to tape this so it doesn't run away from us. And you coolly walk around a circle and start hanging these on oh, there. There goes my balloon boa. <laughs> With the columns finished, we take a basic closet rod and get ready to hang some shimmery fabric to create the backdrop. So this silver organza or lame fabric that we got, we um, so cut cool. up. Isn't that 80s? I think I might have had a dress made out of this. To hang the fabric, we create a simple hem by folding it over about two inches and just stapling all the way across. Then push the rod through. Hang the curtain across the columns to make your backdrop. Then, as a final touch, top off the columns with pizza boxes wrapped with white paper. So simple. It looks like our photo center's ready. Perfect. All right, cool. It's so cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Palm 2002. <laughs> Now that our photo center is done, Scott has one more great idea for our extra balloons. I love the way that you put the balloons around the pool. Very cute touch. No, no, these are going in the pool. What do you mean? These in the are pool? gonna, yeah, these are like bubbles. I got these bolts, and we're gonna weight them, and we're just gonna toss oh. these in the pool. They're gonna be like bubbles coming up everywhere. Love it. <laughs> That's a great idea. It does look Perfect. like bubbles. Yeah. Next, we're making some fun centerpieces for our prom tables. We started with a yearbook, Rich's yearbook, and we made photocopies of the senior portraits. Which I'm sure he really appreciates. <laughs> <laughs> and we cut them into strips. Okay, so that's a really simple thing. Yeah, and we bought this um, paint. It's called decoupage paint. And basically what we're gonna do is attach these around like this. Stick it on, and you'll be embarrassing your friends all night long. <laughs> Perfect. And you were going to put flowers in these? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Step two <laughs> is to paint over the faces, and this glue is transparent. Oh, it just seems kind of mean to paint over them, and yet kind of helpful for some of them. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. All right, good. I'll start putting flowers in here. Okay. These are our centerpieces. Yeah. Awesome. Oh my god. Coming up, we're updating prom food with our version of mac and cheese and a stylish take on pigs in a blanket. And then it's time to party.